Namaste and welcome, welcome back. This is a video about uh, empathy and empathetic people. So, welcome, my dear lovely, lovely, lovely empaths. <laughs> How are you guys doing? I hope, I hope <laughs> you're feeling this sensitivity everywhere, <laughs> especially if you're having a spiritual awakening or or kundalini awakening i i can totally feel that <laughs> i can totally feel what you guys are going through the pain the agony the pleasure everything in intensity right so i've been like thinking about making a video uh, about empathy a long time ago it's like i just uh these things has to, I don't want to like, you know, these things has to come out for some reason. It's like, you know, when, when we are, when I'm feeling the empathy, I don't want to make the video because, <laughs> because it's like, it, it'll, it'll become hard to articulate, right? So, what is an empath? Who is an empath? Can a person become an empath or is a is a person generally empathetic empathy comes to you uh, since you are a kid since you're a child in my view this is this is only my view on empathy the the observations I had in my life and uh, the experiences I had in my life this is from that for some reason we cannot locate and pinpoint when we became an empath it is it is so hard because when we are children we are so alive and so playful and uh, after that you know parents will control us and the university the college the school everything puts a lot of control on us you, you don't do that you shouldn't do this and that and this your playfulness automatically goes down because all this piled up fucking burden weight on you with the fucking rules right so even at that point i tried to go back to my childhood and see where how i became an empath like how how i'm able to bear even though it hurts me so badly sometimes when i see other person's pain uh, how am i able to hold this uh till till this far in my life <laughs> because the intensity is super high for me so that also came back to the point where my parents were abusive and the it's kind of like I built up this this person who who can take kind of like more pain so I am in my view I think that's the reason where to defend myself because I can't collapse because of the abuse or the, the way I was treated when I was a kid. So I think at that point uh, my empathy began probably because that's, th that's all the for forest I can go because I cannot go back even more or further. But there were, there were things where my parents told me, my uncles told me that uh, they used to get me these candies, this huge bag of candies. and. And I used to sit in the window and throw those candies to a dog so that they can eat when I'm one year old, one or two years old probably. At that age, I just, I just, I don't even have the memory of that. <laughs> because they, don't, they told me that this is what you're doing at the time. Because I had this love for dogs and, and in, since that age, but my parents never let me uh, get a dog. I I got a dog out of like it's kind of like on the street I got a dog because uh, uh sometimes the mother dog will kill the babies when it 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 has this itching kind of sensation in its in its teeth some after it gives birth to babies sometimes the dogs will kill them out of that I don't know how this this pain or panicness or why the dogs I didn't research it much but this is way back memory i had no idea this might be like medically right or not but this was my idea at that time like why why a mother dog kills her own baby so uh i need to look into this uh, but 
I I got one a baby because I I I got that dog a small baby dog and want to raise the dog but my mom gave me a lot of shit for that like who's gonna clean up the shit and all that it's like you know it's poor like little thing and two days later it was killed it was it did fucking hurt me like hell when I was everything I want to do they were not understanding it because I was sensitive already at that age I was like probably six years old at the time or five or six years old almost all the kids a lot of kids around the world at that age many people many kids are so sensitive to the animals they are like they are so connected to that but my parents were not can can't understand it because for them it's like a burden it's like who cares about that it's like giving you food was a lot <laughs> so that's what the things i got back like <laughs> we are feeding you that's that's enough you don't need a fucking dog i'm like all right okay <laughs> what can i do i'm six years old at the time <laughs> So, wow, I've, I'm surprised that I got back to this memory. I'm happy making this video. <laughs> I thought, I thought it's, it's lost somewhere. <laughs> so, uh, it's uh, origin of um empathy probably from that age. We, we might develop this uh, because we, we have high intuition without us knowing or not. We didn't nurture the the intuitiveness we have until we know what intuition is till we grew up um, but before that i think that's the foundation of how a person becomes an empath in that from that age so what is it like being in being a super empath or being being in this the state of feeling the other person's pain as yours why like why does it happen to us and it fucking hurts it does hurt it just it's not easy to just you know uh see someone else in pain and not react to that but i'll come to this term later because it's like you know we are reacting but we have to respond to that so this is, these are two different things completely two different worlds reacting and responding so the benefits of empathy i want to begin with this the benefits of empathy how is your sex sex life you answer to it to yourself <laughs> how sensitive you are <laughs> than than the person you are you're having sex with <laughs> because this is one benefit with empathy uh, with 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 empaths you know uh, it's like lower level mid level or higher level empath whatever this this whole thing is right the, the empath we feel a lot we feel intensely and it's it's one of the benefit in 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 empathy so it's like i think in my in my sex life the people i had uh, the woman i had sex with i think i was more more sensitive than them <laughs> because it is so weird <laughs> it's like I feel this when I'm inside her. I feel this energy in my in my belly. It's like it's my whole lower bodies. It it's like plasma everywhere. So it's <laughs> sometimes it gets so damn intense. It's fucking intense. <laughs> but it's wonderful though. It's like you know, you are whatever the other the other person is going through in her mind. If you remove the mind part in sex with the other person. If you are in, if you are going through this this intensity, if you are so into this intense, intense feeling of of having this sexual experience, you can entirely feel the other person's body. It's like totally. It's, it's kind of like electrifying to me sometimes. So this is one benefit. Uh, being an empath because we are so sensitive to everything. It is a gift we, if we learn how to use it. Number two, if you are into trees, if you are into animals, if you are into nature, this can be a really good gift. If you are if you are a person who just open your deepest part of the empathy and start connecting to trees, then uh, uh, I can make a suggestion or you know what I am doing in my life. When you see a tree, sit down with it. Uh, imagine that you are the tree when you are there you feel the feel the tree from the root to the top how strongly it rooted down because 
the more it went higher, the stronger the roots are. So you once you feel this, it's it's it doesn't it doesn't take much time to get into this thing. If you're if you're way way sensitive and if you're like you know, um, if if your if your level of sensitivity is high, then you sit down and try to do this. Become the tree, and see. Every you feel everything. The wind blowing, and you know it's if it's wet and it's like raining, and feel every bit of it. Try to do that. It it will make you. It's the, the connection opens with the nature so deep, and they'll start telling you stories. It's not imagination. This is not imagination. This is intuition. Your empathy making you reach to the point where you can understand nature in a deeper level. So. One of my experience where it's kind of like I've I felt this grace for the one of the in one of my experiences this grace and this it's it's unbelievable it's like I just tree taught me to be in grace in in grace and what it feels like to be in grace it is my whole body just like this I was under the tree and my tears are just flowing it was wonderful. I just meditated there. <laughs> I have a really good spot for um, an amazing pine tree. So, <laughs> so I just I love to sit there. I'm so connected to that tree. Actually, a couple of hours ago I was there. <laughs> Such a good tree. It's amazing to for me to like sit down there. It feels amazing. It's like I don't know. I just ground. I just ground with that tree. So uh, with trees, you can you can connect connect in a deeper level where nature might open up for you to a different dimension of wisdom which is within you but they are they are just connecting you to yourself in that zone that energy of the tree and and the whole thing because tree is alive it's not dead it might not have a verbal feelings and emotions like it can't articulate but it, it is alive it is it is an alive thing it's not a dead thing like a rock so animals, a lot of people in, in here in U.S., a lot of people will know about animals because uh, animals, the people who are empathetic, they are generally connected to animals. It's like we cannot even deny that. You can see that everywhere. <laughs> I can just see that everywhere. When I walk into park, especially after my Kundalini awakening and now I'm seeing it even more, uh, there are a lot of dogs just come to me. They just... It is. Uh, it's like you know. I didn't. Do, uh, I didn't observe this thing before. Like I just. I was not that attentive. But they're like you know not this. Not the the number of dogs are growing day by day when I go to a park. It's like they're just getting to c coming towards me. They're all the the owners of the dogs were like trying to pull them back, uh, call them back, but they're not leaving. <laughs> so it's, and 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 they're they're yelling at the dog a little higher than I just pat them and let let the dog go. Especially what I would do is, when I go to a park and when when I when I sit with the dog when I just kneel in front of the dog because I gotta like get into that position, for for the dog, uh, to see me. Then once the dog comes closer to me, I, it just really wanna see me. So I I I'll open. I have my sunglasses on. So I, I always open. I always take my sunglasses off th so that they can connect with my eyes. So once this happens, they are like they are running around me. It was like I just they, it's like it's like we are friends now. <laughs> that is so awesome. I'm like having so so much fun with this. So animals and there are the benefits of anything you want to feel which is a blissful feeling a blissful feeling or just like having this amazing body sensations and this anything you think that was good to you it will enhance empathy will enhance it and definitely enhance all those feelings for you but the other side is it will also enhance the negative side whatever you think which are not good for you and you told that no this is not a good feeling i don't want that that will enhance too so both things are there we need to know how to stay equal when we when we when we are experiencing bad things and and at that moment when that's happening 
getting ourselves into attentiveness and being aware in that point when we are feeling the negative emotion is extremely important for empaths because this will change the entire game if you being aware you will be responsible in the sense we are responsible I can, this can be easily misunderstood i'll try my best to explain this i am responsible for everything around me even for people that doesn't mean i'm responsible for someone else's pain or someone else's bad actions or good actions i am responsible for everything around me that means i need to respond response is happening in a deeper level in my body in the sensations without me even generating them let's just say you you just had a breeze cool breeze can you control the responses on your body do you even know how many things happen just for one single breeze the chemistry changes the entire chemistry of the body changes so we are in constant response with with nature being responsible here when you see a person in pain when you took that when you you just let's just say you just got to a point where uh, you know a person or just this there is a person who is in pain in the initial first minute you see that pain and you 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 went into that pain and you started making that pain into yours in the next few minutes that will happen for for almost every empath because we didn't train ourselves so what we are doing is we are becoming the pain we just took that pain which is not you which is not ours we didn't create that pain we were not we were our actions didn't do the pain they were having but you are a good human being but you need to keep your mind telling you what other people think of you if you don't help that person you need to keep that completely down in the sense you don't care about what other people might think if you are not helping the person who if you see someone is crying their heart out and you just don't want to move not even want to touch that person if you feel like it don't touch never think about what other people think about you in that situation it is not your business what happens in other people's minds about you is not your business it is not our business at all let them it's every person every person can see you and judge you according to their own life experiences and their own perception it doesn't match you not necessarily so this one is there so this pain part when you see a person you you see the person in pain if you feel like touching the person but you need to be very careful when the touching the person because we don't empaths try to take the energy into our body which we don't know how to if you're meditative you would you would you would definitely see things in energetic person energetic and ener- energetically like when you when you see a person you feel the energy and you you will know so if you if if your heart is saying that you sit down stay still and wish good for that person because whatever he or she might be going through is not permanent whatever the pain they are having it will go they will be in in the happy state again they will be in the sad state again it is not your journey it is their journey if you feel someone is in a helpless condition and you want to help that person you, whatever you want to do you can do it but not to the point it will change your mood it will change your body chemistry it will change it will create pain in your body and you will create you create suffering in your body and try not to go there because uh, this we are carrying this heaviness of all the people's pain on in our body we just taking it because when we when an empath walks into 1000 people it's overwhelming energy sh- just shoots into us it just it just it just you know you can feel all that energy because it is uh, for me it's like if i walk into 1000 people it's like oh my god shit <laughs> it's like there's so many emotions of people going on there emotional baggage negative people good people it's it's every it's <laughs> it's like i can see that completely when i just walk in it just, it just hits me so hard <laughs> so i needed to protect myself when 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 i see this this someone is going through pain someone is just not good someone's energy is not good one thing i would do is that is not mine just not mine i didn't create the pain or the pleasure for the other person it's their own journey 
so that that's one part and uh, hugging wow this is a sensitive subject <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I ha- but I I need to break it down for sure because uh, hugging people became like you know the new trend. Uh, like everyone is going and buying a Starbucks, and you'll you'll do that. Everyone is like saying I'm gluten intolerant. I'm I'm gluten free. I can't have gluten. Okay, I need that. Everyone's trying Ritalin, and they're saying they have ADHD. Then they think that they have ADHD. It's like it's this this whole idea of copying each copying each other it's happening everywhere and hugging people is not necessary if you're empath protect yourself you need you need something in your hand or in your pocket when you had an unexpected hug from a emotionally someone is emotionally like they just want to dump their emotional baggage onto you the moment they see you they want your your energy they just want to suck that it happens subconsciously it happens unconsciously for them a lot of people are not conscious they're they're conscious people too who do that the narcissistic people who are who the the mid level to high level narcissist they they wantedly do that they they it's like your your energy is feed to them because they're empty inside they want to grab your energy into their energy into their bodies hugging people is not necessary it is in spirit if you are having a spiritual awakening kundalini awakening if you are into yoga meditation if you are seriously want to go down into depths of meditation and going deeper into your own self hugging is not necessary you need to feel that from inside to hug a person you need to feel that from your heart and it doesn't happen with every person you see you really have to listen to yourself here because we are carrying their it just we are just absorbing their energy into ourselves without even knowing it and a lot of empaths are not conscious so this part i need to stress on this part because i i definitely had experiences where i took some emotional baggage from people so even not even like talking much before not even like we didn't even get into the conversation yet that even before that i just got the fucking pain into my body so it's like it's, it happens if you are an empath if you are a super empath fucking definitely happens so be protective of yourself be aware of yourself what you do in your actions that person if they they are seeing you they you can see the look in there they look, they want to grab you almost they just want to like take your energy they they come to you in that way <laughs> so then uh, you we need to do something to repel that we you need to move or you need to say uh you need to do some kind of some kind of thing like you know shake your hand or just you know just say uh take a step back or or i would like to say namaste this is the best thing <laughs> is, i don't care if they get offended <laughs> i don't i don't want to hurt myself so <laughs> because this is the best thing because this is a, this is a very respectful res, very respectable way too because you are bending you are you are saluting or you are in tune with the soul and and you are paying your respects to the soul which is in the other person's body so it's kind of like you know the mind doesn't matter now but hugging someone if you don't feel like hugging you got to say no say like i am not feeling to hug right now i just i'm not sorry to die. i'm not like you know denying or disrespecting you this is what i'm going through right now i just i just, i'm just not in a place to hug anyone just if you if you think that i'm miserable you yeah, go with it but this is what i'm going to do you might not even have to go there so you just have to say i'm i am not in the mood to to hug right now so because uh some people just grab you just like you know what it's like hug has to be internal it has to be come it, it's like you know you f- you have to feel this energy then go hug someone it will be amazing because okay i can give you an example i invited a friend to my home and she was she was like all over when she came when she just walked in i can feel her tension i could feel her mind is fucking running everywhere she had probably couple of coffees and she want she's like you know I want to do that I want to do this it's like it's all these things for the whole day her mind is agitated i just felt that when she walked in 
but i had this feeling for her to give a good hug so that it'll, she she can calm down so i hugged her very tight and hold her not let her go <laughs> she is thinking that probably 5 seconds 10 seconds it's done no i didn't probably i hugged more than 3 minutes 3 to 5 minutes almost so then she she just she just sunk into my energy slowly then her shoulders dropped and slowly 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 she she got, she kind of slowed down she had tears in her eyes after that this is how i want to hug people when i want to hug people <laughs> because it has to come if your your body has to like you know your body your mind your being has to be ready and also want to do that and that's when we we would i would like to hug because it's like it's hug is not like a shake hand <laughs> it became like a shake hand now <laughs> it's like <laughs> it's a, it's a cool thing probably but not for everyone not for everyone so especially if you are sensitive be very careful with this so yeah this is this is my experience on uh, this is i want to share this stuff on hugging my views on hugging and what's going on as of now with with people food oh wow this is an important subject with empaths <laughs> everything we put in our body matters and not, even even not in empathetic way even in general it matters but for an empath for who have especially if you are a super empath or your feelingness or you, you, the sensitivity of your body is high when you walk when i walk into the trees i get this this intense bliss and it's kind of like it's, it's sometimes it overwhelms me with with this it's unexpressible beauty and energy it gives me when i walk into the woods and near the near the trees and it's kind of like you know if you were having this level or this kind uh everything you put in matters every everything especially if you're putting meat in your body i would highly recommend not to <laughs> i would very highly recommend not to because if if you're a person who are so sensitive but you don't know that you were you were you were super empathetic person and you're just thinking that you just oh you just everything is overwhelming you but if you are in that zone not eating meat will help you immensely because especially when we eat meat from animals which has emotions when you ha- when you kill an animal with emotions it it's like you know imagine yourself someone is dragging you by your hair or something and putting you in a place and then chopping your head how intense that is how much fear you will create in your body when you are going through that if animals which has no emotions that's a different story but the animals which has emotions they have this fear when they go to slaughter homes before even they walk in they understand this pain around they are in a certain dimension where where their reptilian brain is active they can sense pain from way long distance they can sense changes from they can sense all the changes happening like Okay I can give you an example for this. If you if you see a tsunami when a tsunami happens animals don't die other than if you tie them they they run away first way before they like days before they run away snakes will run away months before it's like how are they knowing it that something is happening their reptilian brain is active ours is dead because we kept ourselves in fucking buildings since the society so our reptilian brain is so low your our senses the people who grew up in 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 cities in metropolitans their senses are fucking low they have no idea they have to go do a, a kind of like you know some sense deprivation or they have to put them in a place where their senses will become active that means go to a jungle or go to a safe foresty area and in pitch dark you sit down there by yourself you'll see your real senses give it one week of that you'll see how much you can see without using a flashlight in the, in the forest 
you can see you can hear you can hear how you can hear when you hear you can calculate the distance there, there's a lot in it. it it just grows we were we when we grew up in cities it's kind of dead for us like we put that down but animals will know that so that point is like you know you, when you when we eat that meat we are eating that that stiffness of meat a body a, an animal creates when the animal knows that it is dying it it's the whole body is like it releases all these hormones of fear and everything which is not good for us for the people who are not sensitive they can do anything they they can do caffeine a lot and the vegans they can do alcohol to cool the caffeine down it's like you know stimulation and intoxication stimulation intoxication stimulation intoxication they can do that forever but you are sensitive you you are an empath you can fucking feel everything in your body sometimes we don't know why we are feeling it and if you're more sensitive you can you can even tap into the consciousness of the entire pain on the planet that's for it did happen to me then when that happened to me i was in prayer i was i very first time i understood what a prayer is it's like prayer is like you can only be in prayer you cannot do prayer it's like meditation a lot of people who are praying with words it's just fancy words like copied from there and here they put their fucking emotion in that and they think that's a prayer no 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 <laughs> prayer is you when you are in prayer you cannot speak you cannot think of yourself your identity will be dissolved you will be in that group of consciousness when that happens grace happens to you when that happened to me for the first time and that's the last time i prayed for myself and I, i will never pray for myself again in my life that's that that easy that when that change the perception change and i can't it became like begging almost when i pray for myself so i can do that so i can ask for help that's a whole different situation if if i need something i i kind of like i don't even do that now it's whenever my mind puts an outward asking oh god please help me do this please help me in this my mind does that and my being says that you got to fucking do it yourself you were you're all right you have every part of your body is working it's not like dead you you have everything good and you can do it yourself <laughs> yeah so <laughs> if you if you if you need to learn something if you if you need to go something create an intention and deeper intention with intensity to learn that and things will open up for you people will come to you your the the very way your being directs you into whatever the thing you're learning it will blow you mind it did always it did for me since past 10 years everything which comes to me it's mind blowing how i find these things it just it just happens just like that it's getting so intense right now like these days are like it's getting way more intense i mean the moment i'm thinking it used to take a month before but now it's like a minute sometimes it's like 5 minutes i'm finding the information somehow in a video and it's like it just things are so it's just coming up so fast and i'm really really grateful for this <laughs> because <laughs> because i probably it's happening since long time and i never realized it maybe but but now now, now i'm realizing it the moment it happens so this is one part and i want to end this video with uh one suggestion for all the empaths like in in most of the videos i say uh, this but you need to do meditation you need to learn meditation if you are an empath meditation means not imagination meditation means being in high awareness it's like it's like not you sit down and imagine things it's like you sit down and watch what's going on in your mind all the thoughts every time it's going in you need to learn technique for this like vipassana is a very good meditation technique and uh shambhavi mahamudra is a very good good meditation technique but if you are if you already did did vipassana then you know what i'm talking about because meditation helps you 
it will sharpen your awareness you will see yourself as a second person but just as someone is sitting here and watching me from outside and also inside it's that there are many stages of meditation many levels of meditation of when your when your awareness rises and uh, if you practice meditation if your awareness is high you can watch yourself when you encounter a person who is in pain and your empathy began the moment it, the moment you 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 got into the energy of the other person you just walked in someone is in pain in that room and you felt you you just felt that from that feeling to you were walking toward that person or leaving the room whatever happens this entire scene of that you will be aware of it your body changes you will be aware the thoughts you are having you will be aware your awareness will be there in each and everything that will make you so powerful you can divert your empathy into many things it's empathy is a great gift it's an amazing gift for you to have a spiritual experience in a very deeper level so i hope my video helps you or at least it cleared some some things and thank you for watching this is <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to make a video on empath since uh, since uh, since a while because uh, but I needed to be ready for this because it's a really good subject and probably I I, I would go into more more in depth in in another video uh, giving you l maybe in a short video in the next one at some point of time in future. Uh, I need to practice more of what I'm doing and and also find the experiences if I'm if I'm if I'm making some mistakes or if my mind is going into old habits and I want to give certain time and see what how I can tune it down to a point where uh, I can give some points where it will really help you points in the sense not copying from you other YouTube videos my own points Uh, that needs time that's why i'm asking this time <laughs> because uh because i i will make mistakes and also find that and write it down and all that so meditate please meditate because it will help you empathy empathy people my lovely lovely people <laughs> you got to meditate <laughs> so it's just not only for your protection it enhances everything it enhances your experience it enhances your life it enhances your decisions you you just in every corner it enhances you are walking to your own deeper higher self with meditation so yeah thank you so much <laughs> lots of love to you guys